All right, so I wanted to do a unicycle video for a long time. And I've never gotten around to it. So and this is not gonna be one of the videos I never uploaded. Because if you're seeing this, it's obviously on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm going to be giving you some tips uh, how to unicycle. But I, yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay. All right. So, my first tip is always have safety gear. I know you obviously, you probably obviously think, oh yeah, I need safety gear. You might not think to have wrist guards. Wrist guards are probably the more important than a helmet in this case. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when you fall, it makes it so you don't break your wrists. And you fall a lot. If you're not falling, you're not really learning. Um, so, helmet, and you can get now, elbow cards, I've never fell on my elbows. I've only fell on my knees, and boy, have I fell on my wrists. I've never fell on my head either. But safety gear is obviously a good choice. And so that's the first tip. The next tip is, I so I don't know about this. You might want to try it, but I kind of wanted to learn how to mount my unicycle, like self-mount, like this first. So I wanted to do this first. So you can self-mount like that without a wall. Because when I was learning, I didn't self-mount first. And I was using garbage cans and, uh, and chairs to help me. But if I had self learned how to self-mount, I would have just self-mounted and kind of started riding. And if I use the, and sometimes occasionally if I use the garbage can, and I go pretty freaking far, and then I fall, and there's no garbage cans, or I have to walk, like, really far back to the garbage can to start. So, if you had self-mounted, you could have self-mounted, got to your place where you fell, and then self-mounted again, and kept going. That, I think I wish I kind of done. That is optional, like most things with unicycling. And that was tip number two. The third tip is... Don't hesitate to keep going. Uh, if you have safety gear like wrist guards and helmet and all those little trinkets that I told you before, why aren't you moving? If you if you start here, come here. If you start off on a wall and you're sitting here and you're like, all right, I'm gonna do this. And you're, this is what you're thinking in my brain, what I was thinking. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go, boom. <laughs> And then you go, but some people feel like, and then they don't move. And then they don't get that momentum and can't keep going. So what I should have done was I just needed to keep going if I had all that freaking safety gear. So when you start, just book it like. And um, that was tip number three. Also, I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to unicycle in my beginning. None of them really helped me. So this, uh, it's co mostly completely optional. If you find a way that helps you the best, use it. I don't, don't care if you listen to me. But how, how I do it is I use my left foot. It's not the foot I kick with. And that's how I get up. Um, so, my mom does it. Do you do it with your right or your left? Um, I think my right, and I'm left footed. Pops, do you do it with your right or your left foot? How do you, your right? Do you get on with your left? Or your right? Um, I don't know. I think I start with my right foot. Oh. It probably doesn't matter. See, it's completely really optional. I'm copying the pumpkin. So, yeah. Those are my few tips, and Mommy, I'm hungry. also, you don't want to get a a brand that kind Just of sucks. You kind of want to get a unicycle that's over a hundred dollars, or get one on KSL or Facebook Marketplace or something like that. So for less, that's where I got mine. I got one on Amazon for seventy bucks, and it sucks. <laughs> Broken a day, so we returned it and bought this one. So good brands are Torker, yes. yeah, Torker and Sun. Sun. 
And yeah, those are two good brands. I don't know other ones. I broke my arm. <laughs> yeah. So those are my five tips. Uh, thanks for watching. Well, okay. let's see your skills now. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So <laughs> six tip. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's how kind of to mount. The basic <laughs> idea is. You do the same foot that you like to mount with, and, oh, I can't tell you guys this, but how I start is, it's almost to the bottom. So, then, when I put my foot on it, and push it underneath me, and then I can go. And, you do that same thing with self-mounting, but, when I was self-learning how, I kept on not, you know, going. <laughs> I would go like this, and I would, I would get off. I'd more go, or I would go like this. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can do that aren't right. Okay. And that. that last one was, I didn't do that as much. But that's kind of the basic idea on how to self-mount. So I do it again so we can see. So do it again. Yeah. <laughs>